Hello, BAME Farm fans. We are having a close adventure today. But what really caught my eye when I got out of the truck, I didn't realize we had a rider. We had a praying mantis, and it looks like he's got some sort of leaf spot. <laughs> That's probably his camouflage to blend in uh, with the fall foliage coming in that's not as green anymore. How you doing, little buddy? You gonna eat some bugs? Eat some uh, armyworm? Yeah, that didn't affect us. I don't make hay that armyworm would like, probably. Oh man, there's two of them. You guys are coming out of the woodwork. You're a big one, too. I don't know which, male, which one's a male and a female, but, well, one of you will enjoy eating the other's head after trying to reproduce. Yeah, I think prying mantises are vicious like that. That's not why we're here. Entomology is fun. Unfortunately, I'm not so sharp on that because I didn't have any bug classes when I was in college. That happened like a year or two after they finally got somebody to come in and adjunct professor teach that class. But round bales, we're here unloading round bales, making the stack out here by the road so somebody can throw a cigarette on them and they all burn up, but at least they're close to the main road that somebody can see it, call it in and the fire department will be here. I thought of that after the fact. I just picked this spot because it was close to the road, easy access, and it slopes down the hill uh, to, to keep the water drained away. Um, we're, after today, there'll be over 200 out here, and my Uncle Jim has brought most of these home. So, many thanks to him. It is wonderful. They are here, and I didn't get any video loading because I was chasing other fires baling hay elsewhere. So the only video we're really going to have is me loading uh, round bales out, and maybe I'll get to deliver some of these at some point this winter because I really want to pull the round bale wagon behind the truck, and we can... I think I can get 30 on all that mess. But I'm just standing here yammering, not talking, so we're going to hop in the skid steer and get rolling. Start stacking. Yeah, so ever since I got net wrap, I've sort of given up on the thought of getting these under roof because, you know, the net wrap helps to shed the water. Not all of this is my uncle's stacking. I did have some other help, and you see these ones right here in front of us just drives me nuts. But I thought Nick was coming out here to straighten out. Nick didn't stack those either. Uh, I had some other help do that and they started out good then lost focus on the last eight bales there before this was finished out so that's a little mildly annoying to our ocd that they're not all lined up straight oh well let's see how cantankerous the skid steer is this morning we'll give it some choke because it was cold last night okay no choking this morning i guess it's not feeling that feisty Oh, come on. Now, well, it's gonna be feisty that way. Like most engines that seem to have trouble running, I figure giving it lots of fuel has got to be the way to keep it running when it doesn't want to run or idle well. Because somehow running faster, right, will just power through those troubles. Yeah. That's why I'm not a big fan of old gas engines, but it runs pretty good. The Wisconsin is firing away and not stopping on me. Move, would you? I don't know who had these set so far in, but I don't think I need them so far in. Because usually that, see that bale, that bale got ripped because the forks were so far in. Okay, it's gonna get loud, I'm gonna hate myself, but here we go.
that's a lovely breeze probably bringing in the rain so we're on top of the haystack right now as i have it far enough away from the barns that it's not in the way i don't have to look at it exactly out the window all the time um i've counted there's like at least 40 bales in a row and there's five rows plus the half there's like 220 bales out here there's still probably 35 out on the road to get but those fields are too wet or it's i was getting picky with second cutting and round baling stuff that had a lot of sage grass in it and you know obviously baling the nice clean grass and square bales so there's like three bales here there and everywhere got to get those someday now i'll get a fun video like taking the hay spear out uh, with that wagon and collecting three bales here there and everywhere and then the other one fields of swamp and the other one i know isn't any too dry so we're gonna try not to get stuck again um plus i know uncle jim needs 30 i don't know if he's taken all of his hay um I think that's why he's so eager to get round bales home because I guess we'll say it's a barter deal. He gets round bales plus brings all mine home. I don't know if he has all his. Maybe he has half of them. I'm not sure. So I guess that's not too bad. Bring home a couple hundred round bales and he gets 30. So it's kind of a 10 to 1 deal. Yeah, not quite 10. Oh well, they're home and I didn't have to do it. So it's great. It's fantastic. I'm thrilled. Did a fine job. They're here. And nobody else has to look at them because they're not in their fields. So this has been a fun round video. And we'll catch you guys later with more fun farming action.